My name is Kathy Abbas and I'm a marine archaeologist and maritime historian living in Rhode Island. I came here more than 31 years ago after being a professor in Virginia for about 10 years and I came to Rhode Island to study maritime issues working as a marine surveyor, uh, sailing on a tall ship, teaching there, etc. And about 23 years ago I got involved in a project in Lake George, New York to study the oldest intact warship in North America. That particular project was done by volunteer sport divers under professional direction and it was an important study because it was one of the first times that volunteers had been involved in this kind of program. The state of Rhode Island asked me to do the same thing, to study the submerged cultural resources in Rhode Island, especially the shipwrecks that are here. RIMAP started in 1992-93, and every year since then has done a number of different uh, projects throughout the years that illustrate different periods of history in the state of Rhode Island, starting with pre-contact sites that have to do with the Native Americans that were here before the colonists arrived, to colonial sites, to Revolutionary War sites, to the era of our commercial dominance around the world, to World War II. All of that can be found in the waters around Rhode Island and all of that has been something that Rhode Island Marine Archaeology Project has uh, had in its interest list. It turns out that there are more than 2,000 vessels that have been lost in the state of Rhode Island. Not all of them are specifically historically significant, but if there is a vessel that is found that we can say something about it, it's really pretty exciting. And so this is important for the state to understand how much history there is, not just on land, but also in the waters and the shallows and even under the dunes around the state. Captain James Cook was the man in history who explored more of the world than any other person. He went around the world the first time in the Endeavor Bark. He came back safely with the vessel and then went around the world twice more in the Resolution. This time on the third voyage he was killed in Hawaii. But what's coming up in the near future is 2018 will be the 250th anniversary of Cook leaving England on his first voyage in the Endeavor. 2019 is the 250th anniversary of him circumnavigating New Zealand, and 2020 will be the 250th anniversary of his exploring the east coast of Australia and then claiming that continent for Britain. So Australia considers Cook their founding father and the Endeavour as their founding vessel. New Zealand thinks he's important to their history as well. All the places that he visited around the world, you will see Cook monuments and Cook statues and the like. So he's a really big deal if you think about the history of world exploration. What RIMAP wants to do is to take advantage of the international interest in all of these celebrations. And Rhode Island actually has the Endeavor Bark in its waters. And if we can find her and say, there she is, it will position Rhode Island to take advantage of the heritage tourism and the international interest that will be uh, generated during those 250th anniversary celebrations. You don't have to be a professional to be involved with us, but if you're interested, you can join RIMAP, pay your dues, take our training, and depending on what your availability is and what your skill set is, and depending on what we have to do and when we're going to be doing it, you may volunteer with us. What we want is people who are passionate about local history and who can supply some of the labor that we need to do the work we have to do. We have very small budget every year. We are not funded by the state of Rhode Island but we are funded by memberships, donations, grants, and of course we are raising the money now to build a facility in which we can manage the waterlogged artifacts that will come off historic sites as well as share the information that those artifacts uh, give us about what the history is in the local waters. It turns out that one of the sites we've been working on had been the endeavor of Captain Cook's first voyage around the world, and that's the project that has given us a lot of international publicity. Everything else we've done throughout the years has been as significant and as important to local history and to regional history and even to U.S. history, but that project is the one that is going to uh, put Rhode Island on an international map because when we find that vessel, uh, the whole world will pay attention.